Hi, it's Kimberly at the Property Man and I have the absolute pleasure today of showing you this three double bedroom extended semi-detached home on Manly Road in Sale. It's got a gorgeous bright blue sky today but it is a little bit windy so let's head on inside and have a look at what the property has to offer. So as you can see we've got off-road parking here to the front of the car and then we've also got a garage here with electric up and over door which creates some fantastic storage. So so we've got our porch area here so a great place to kick off our shoes which is exactly what i'm going to do bear with me one second and then we'll head on inside so we've got this gorgeous front door here with original stained glass on the panelled windows round the outside and then we've got replica on the door entering into the entrance hall so nice bright beautifully decorated home throughout so we've got our entrance here we've got radiator on our left hand side there we've got again it's a, a great space little space for a little cabinet unit there as well um and access to our first floor and then we've got a fantastic storage cupboard here under the stairs somewhere for the ironing board and the hoover etc so just let me turn around again just so that you can get the full effect of that gorgeous stained glass there in the uh, in the windows and the in the front door very uh, very art deco as well i uh, absolutely love it so we've got two reception rooms here and we've got a nice big kitchen diner as well so this property has been extended a couple of times once to the rear and then also to the side and and upwards as well so something else to notice is we've got these nice panelled 1930s doors, so very in keeping with the age of property as well. And then as we head into our front reception room, so this has just been newly decorated. I have to say, I absolutely love this colour. It's beautiful. So got a gorgeous living room, sitting room here to the front. We've got a nice bay window uh, to the front there that's fitted with plantation shutters and you can see the sun is literally absolutely beaming through the front. So it's the morning now. Um, so the um, property, the garden at the back is west facing. So we've got the sun absolutely beaming through the front here. And then obviously as we get into the afternoon, it'll be all in the garden all afternoon and all evening as well. So I will give you a couple of different angles of each room so that you can get a real good idea as to what we have on offer. So we've got this gorgeous feature fire surround here as well. These are two quite large sofas and you've still got plenty of floor space and also space there for TV unit as well. So something else I will point out when we go upstairs is the positioning of this property as well is literally directly up the road there. So you've not got anybody facing you at the front, which is brilliant. You're not looking into anybody else's house. And literally at the end of this road there, there's a little um, little pathway that takes you down the side of the brook and then onto the canal. And then if you go to the right, you can also go over the bridge and then a couple of minute walk, you are at Park Road, Simply Metrolink as well so uh, fantastic in terms of locations for those walks with the dogs or walks into the uh, the pubs on a Sunday for a nice roast and um, we're also catchment for some fantastic schools as well both primary and secondary so then we've got our second reception room so this has been extended to the rear here we've got patio doors there leading to the garden and this, this is a fab size, that 18 foot in length. Um, so it's a really, really good size. We've got, again, nice feature fire surround there as well. Got this built-in media wall, so space for a TV and um, all, you know, DVDs, etc. are there as well. So I'll, uh, again, give you a couple of different angles of the space. So Manly Road's not too far from Sale Town Centre, uh, so it's great in terms of access uh, for the shops and amenities of Sale Town Centre. We've also got a co-op that's not too far away, literally within striking distance. So if you do just need those local amenities rather than heading into the town centre, you've also got that added benefit as well. So then we head into our kitchen diner, so the heart of our 
family home so just something to know here before we do head in we've got the glass panels on the door um, on this one so again it just allows that continuation of natural light to flow into our entrance hall from our kitchen diner and then in here we have a, a fantastic space so as you can see there we've got a really large dining table and chairs there um, and then we've got a modern range of base and eye level units which literally then run round the kitchen area so we've got granite work surfaces we've got um dishwasher in here we've got space for as you can see there space for an american style fridge freezer we've got the wine rack down the side there as well and space for um cookbooks and, and whatnot Again, really good run of work surface. An absolutely fantastic kitchen dining space. And again, we've got the patio doors there leading to the garden. So I will take you into the garden once we've had a look upstairs. But just before we do, again, just give you another angle of this space here. There's also this sort of area here as well you could fit a little two-seater sofa in there but honestly there's there's loads of space to do what you wanted with this and then just in here we've got our integral garage so currently being used as a bit of storage um also uh looks like it's a bit of a gym as well in here but what we do also have is the properties boiler and then also our utility space as well so you do keep that noise of the washer and the dryer out of the kitchen dining area and we have it in here but again we've got electric up and over door there as i mentioned outside and again this is just a fantastic space so it would fit a car in here if you wanted to um obviously just currently being used as storage so that concludes the tour of the ground floor. So let's head on upstairs. So upstairs we have three double bedrooms. Our main bedroom has an ensuite and then we have our family bathroom as well. So as we head up onto the landing, I will take you straight into the main bedroom, which is what would have formerly been the third bedroom, so the box room. Um, and what they've done with this space is created a really, really fantastic main suite. So we walk in here, again, super duper bright. It's got fully fitted furniture in here. So this bit here, <clears throat> up to here, would have what would have originally been the third bedroom. And what we've done is gone over the garage and back and just created this fantastic space. So we've got this area here, so a bit of a dressing area. We've got some drawers there and also there as well. And then straight into our main bedroom area and as you can see we've got heaps and heaps of wardrobe space we've got a double wardrobe there we've got a triple wardrobe there a single there again you've got space for your bed in the middle with your bedside tables we've got window window so again it's nice and bright there and it's just a fab space absolutely brilliant space and then just through here we have our ensuite. So in our ensuite, we've got a three-piece suite. We've got, again, heaps of storage either side here for all your towels and your toiletries and whatnot. We've got a sink there um, with a mirror and obviously it's all illuminated there. We've got tiled flooring and tiled walls, WC, nice big window, and then also our shower unit there as well. So really, really fab size on suite. And again, heaps and heaps of storage. You can never have too much storage. Okay, so that's our main bedroom. And then we have a further two double bedrooms here. So we've got this one to the front. So again, this is a nice big main bedroom. We've got bay window to the front there. Really good size. And again, I'll just show you that view right the way up the uh, up crossway road there and as I said literally just at the end is where you get your access to the canal um, and also the brook as well and not too far from your Metrolink there we go that's our second bedroom and then 
Our third bedroom is located again to the rear and this one, again, another absolutely fantastic size double. We've got nice big window to the back there overlooking the garden. And again, just something else to note, we've got those trees at the back there, which again is creating that privacy from the houses behind as well. So absolutely fantastic in terms of not being overlooked at all. So that one is our third and final bedroom. And then we have our main bathroom. So this is fitted with a three piece suite. We've got WC, we've got wash hand basin, bath with shower over. You've got the double shower attachments as well. So the rain, uh, rain water style and also the separate attachment. We've got tiled flooring, heated towel rail in here as well. And then obviously, our spotlights on there as well. So that's our main family bathroom and our loft space there as well. So plenty of, um, of storage up there. So that concludes our tour internally. So let's head back downstairs and we'll grab my boots and then we will head into the garden. There we go. So this would make a fantastic family home. It's even further scope if somebody wanted to convert the garage into an additional reception space. I know that a couple along the road have also done that. So there is, you know, more potential if anybody needed any more living space to also uh, to also do that. So, so as we go out the patio doors here, we've got this, um, we've got a paved patio area. So this is where you're going to get that evening sun as it comes right over here and sets in the west. We've got nice uh, lawned area. And again, we've got the seated area at the back. So as I said, it's the morning now, obviously it is the winter, so it's low sun, but that's where um, the owners have their breakfast and you get the sun at the back, sun in the garden all day and then sun in the evening here on the patio. So we've got the raised flower beds as well. Um, flower beds on the side here, nice tall fencing and again just fantastic size so I'll walk you right the way to the back and spin you around so you can have a look at the back of the house. We've also got access down the side here as well, water um, water tap there, gated access as well so you do have complete access down the side of the property as well. So let's walk you right the way to the back, the sun might be gleaming in our eyes but we won't complain because it's January and then we'll swing you I'll take you to this corner here swing you right the way around so that you can have a look there at the back of the garden as well so if you'd like to arrange a viewing please call the team on 0161 519 8855 that's 0161 519 8855 or alternatively email sales at the propertyman.co.uk that's sales at the propertyman.co.uk thank you very much <laughs>